Now, to, uh, good, good afternoon, my colleagues. The topic today is salmonellosis. And uh, what about what we can uh, speak about salmonellosis? Salmonellosis is intestinal infection which caused by salmonella, pathogenic microorganism, uh, which caused the formation of syndrome of intoxication, fever, gastrointestinal syndrome, and syndrome of dehydration. You see, it is a picture of salmonella. Let's speak about etiology of salmonellosis. Structure of salmonella, you see the structure of uh, those bacteria or antigen. It is somatic antigen, ash antigen. And uh, key antigen, it is capsules antigen. There are some serotypes of salmonella. You see, salmonella enteritis, salmonella infantis, salmonella virchov, salmonella pomona. Salmonella typhimurium, Salmonella Gedelberg, Salmonella London, the are serotypes of Salmonella which cause the infection in the people. Mechanism of infection is oral mechanism, FICA oral mechanism. Ways of infection, ways of transmission, water, food, contact. More often, uh, more often, ways of transmission is uh, food products, milk, meat, sausage, fast food, salad, eggs. Sometimes uh, ways of infection in cases of care, uh, contact with uh, patients and carriers. So such food which cause uh, those infection, just factors of transmissions. Eggs, meat, milk. Uh, sources of infection is the patients, carriers, uh, patients with asymptomatic forms of infection. And sometimes causes of infection is uh, farm animals, birds, pets, uh, yes, uh, let's speak about pathogenesis of uh, salmonellosis. Uh, we spoke about oral mechanism of transmissions and bacteria penetrate to uh, intestinal system and destruction by gastric juice uh, and uh, antibodies, secretory immunoglobulins in gastric juice uh, and uh, it causes the destruction of salmonella, formation of endotoxins in the stomach and then and the toxin penetrate to blood and formation uh, increasing of the temperature, uh, intoxication of uh, the patients, formation of bacteremia and uh, endotoxinemia. So uh, some of uh, bacteria uh, can uh, invasion abilities, aggressive abilities and synthesis of Exotoxins, which cause the depression of phagocytosis and depression of immune response. A fever, intoxication. Sometimes uh, at the severe forms, it causes the formation of toxic shock, uh, depressing of blood pressure, spasm of arterials. Then paresis of arterials, 
formation of microthrombosis, formation of metabolic disorders, disturbances of microcirculation, metabolic disorders, polyorgans insufficiency. It is pathogenesis of toxic shock in salmonellosis. Then a mechanism of pathogenesis when bacteria penetrate to small intestinal and it uh, begin a uh, secretion uh, and uh, it uh, penetrate to enterocytes and glandular cells of small intestinal and uh, it causes activation of mechanism of secretion, secretory diarrhea, mechanism of secretion, water and salt to stomach and small intestinal. It is adenylate a mechanism, uh, accumulation of enzymes, adenylate cyclase, which activates secretion, secretion of small intestinal. So, and the formation of nausea, vomiting, then secretory uh, diarrhea, watery diarrhea. It is syndrome of gastroenteritis, syndrome of gastroenteritis in salmonellosis. At the severe forms, it causes the formation syndrome of dehydration. Sometimes dehydratory shock. Disturbances of microcirculation. Metabolic disorders in the patient. Then bacteria and endotoxins penetrate to uh, large intestinal and cause the spasm, spasm of um, muscles of large intestinal uh, and uh, cause uh, inflammation of mucosa of large intestinal and the formation of syndrome of colitis, tenesmus, mucus feces with uh, mucus and blood admixtures. Formation of gyperemia, edema, and inflammation of mucous membrane of large intestinal. Yes, uh, and uh, sometimes in immune defici deficiency patients with the patients with severe concomitant disease. Uh, with the patients in, in immun immunosuppressive therapy, for example, uh, X-ray uh, therapy, it causes the formation of general forms of infection. Weak immune response. Uh, formation of uh, prolonged bacteremia. Uh, and uh, uh, prolonged bacteremia causes the formation of generalization of infection. When bacteria penetrate to internal organs and formation of metastatic focus of infection. Sometimes formation of infection granulomes, penetration to parenchyma of internal organs, activation of leukocytes and formation of infection granulomes in internal organs. Formation of metabolic disorders in the patients. And morphological uh, results, uh, for example, is the uh, cause of uh, the death of the patient is uh, uh, toxic shock, dehydratory shock, polyorgans insufficiency, uh, microthrombosis of blood vessels, dystrophia of internal organs metastatic focus of infection. So, and the indication, myocardial dystrophia, uh, re renal dystrophia, thrombosis of blood vessels, intestinal necrosis, edema of lung, edema of brain. Let's 
speak about uh, clinical forms of uh, salmonellosis, you see, clinical classification. But at first we speak about classical variants of infection, for example, period of incubation in salmonellosis lasts from some hours up to some days. Acute manifestation, increasing of the temperature, increasing of intoxication, nausea, vomiting, then watery diarrhea with green and yellow character of diarrhea. Yes. So syndrome of gastroenteritis. It is gastro uh, enteritic forms of salmonellosis. And you see uh, some clinical variants. There are many clinical forms. You see on those classification. For example, the first forms is gastrointestinal forms. It is localized form. Localized form. Syndrome of gastroenteritis, gastroenterocolitis, and colitis variant of infection. So, and uh, then next form is general forms. It's characterized by typhoid-like form, septic form of general forms of infection. And asymptomatic forms, for example, subclinical and inapparent forms. So uh, let's speak about gastrointestinal forms. Uh, you see uh, syndrome of gastroenteritis. Uh, it is more often syndrome uh, in clinic of salmonellosis because we spoke about gastroenteric forms of salmonellosis. Uh, and the indication mild, moderate, and severe forms of gastroenteric variant of salmonellosis. For example, uh, mild forms of salmonellosis and gastroenteric forms characterized by uh, the temperature uh, is not more than 38 degrees. Uh, and uh, syndrome of uh, gastroenteritis uh, is no more than five times per day. There is no dehydration uh, and there, there is no intoxication because it is mild form. Next form is uh, moderate form, is gastroenteric variant of moderate forms. It's characterized by increasing of the temperature. The temperature uh, is more than 38 degrees, moderate intoxication. And syndrome of gastroenteritis, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea, green, yellow, uh, no more than 10 times per day. No more than 10 times per day. It is uh, moderate forms of infection. Sometimes in those patients with indication syndrome of dehydration, syndrome of dehydration, uh, it is the uh, first and second stage of dehydration. For example, thirsty and sometimes uh, tonic cramps, decreasing turgor of skin. Next form, severe forms of gastroenteric variant of salmonellosis, uh, characterized by um, uh, severe forms, characterized by increasing of the temperature is more than 14 degrees, marked intoxication, uh, syndrome of uh, gastroenteritis, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea is more than 10 times per day. And it causes the severe dehydration, severe dehydration, marked dehydration, dehydration of uh, third and fourth stage. So it is dehydratory shock, massive tonic cramps, decreasing of turgor of skin, decreasing blood pressure and diuresis, polyorgans insufficiency renal insufficiency, respiratory insufficiency. It is dehydratory shock. Sometimes in severe forms may be uh, mixed shock, for example, toxic shock and dehydratory shock. 
uh, in uh, toxic shock dominate syndrome of intoxication and in dehydratory shock dominate syndrome of dehydration. Uh, next variants, gastroenterocolitic variants, uh, so which characterized by increasing of the temperature, uh, syndrome of gastritis, nausea, vomiting, then syndrome of diarrhea, watery diarrhea, green, yellow, massive, watery diarrhea, and then formation syndrome of colitis, colitis, so formation of tenesmus, mucus stool, with pathological uh, admixtures, diarrhea, with mucus and uh, blood admixtures, tenesmus, spasm in sigma region, so in the patients with gastroenterocolitic syndrome. Uh, so the indication uh, uh, mild, moderate, severe forms of gastroenterocolitic variants. Then, colitis, uh, colitic variants uh, of infection characterized by, uh, or enterocolitic variants of infection characterized by uh, increasing of the temperature, increasing of intoxication. Uh, there is no nausea, vomiting. Yes, there is no syndrome of gastritis, and manifestation of uh, the syndrome is watery diarrhea at first, watery diarrhea green yellow, then syndrome of colitis, mucus too, mucus diarrhea with blood and uh, mucus admixtures, tenesmus, spasm in the sigma region. Syndrome of colitis and gastro, uh, syndrome of colitis and enterocolitis, uh, so colitic and enterocolitic variant may be mild, moderate and severe forms. Sometimes the indication uh, gastritic variants of salmonellosis, gastritic variants, for example, uh, it characterized by increasing of the temperature, nausea vomiting, nausea vomiting. Uh, yes, um, uh, there is no um, watery diarrhea, there is no syndrome of enteritis, colitis, because we speak about gastritic variants of infection, increasing uh, of the temperature, nausea, vomiting, syndrome of gastritis, mild, moderate, and severe forms. So such clinical forms you see, uh, for example, syndrome of gastritis and uh, uh, gastroenteritis and uh, gastroenterocolitis and enterocolitis cause the formation syndrome of dehydration, syndrome of dehydration, dehydratory syndrome, and the indication uh, for stage of dehydration, to stage of dehydratory shock, and for stage of dehydration. For example, the first stage of dehydration characterized by patient lose from 1 up to 3% of mass. Gematocrit is 0 0.45 up to 0 0.5. There is no clinic of uh, dehydration. Sometimes thirsty in the patients. So it is mild forms of salmonellosis. Next, uh, so second stage of the hydration, patient lose uh, from 4 up to 6% of mass of patient. It's characterized by moderate forms of the hydration in moderate forms of infection. Uh, and uh, so syndrome of gastroenteritis, uh, no more than 10 times per day, for example. Uh, it's characterized by the thirsty 
decreasing turgor of skin. Uh, and uh, some uh, um, a little variants of um, a mild variant of uh, tonic cramps. Tonic cramps. Sometimes hands and the legs. Tonic cramps of the muscles. Uh, and uh, increasing of gematocrit, for example. Uh, gematocrit in interval uh, 0 0.45 up to 0 0.50. And blood viscosity, so it is indication of gamma concentration. Blood viscosity. Thousand and twenty-six and thousand and twenty-nine. Uh, next uh, third stage of the hydration, it is severe stage. Patient lose from seven up to nine percent of mass of patients. Dehydration, yes, of the third stage. It is severe dehydration, the severe forms of salmonellosis. Syndrome of gastroenteritis is more than 10 times per day. So, uh, sometimes more than 20 times per day. And it will rise by massive tonic cramps. Massive tonic cramps. Decreasing turgor of skin. Formation of pose boxer, pose of gladiator, so it characterize tonic cramps. Cause the formation of pose boxer and pose of gladiator. Decreasing blood pressure and decreasing of diuresis. Dyspnea, acrocyanosis. Dyspnea and acrocyanosis. Blood viscosity is uh, 1030 and in interval of 1030 and 1035. Gematocrit is interval 0 0.5 and 0 0.55. It is severe dehydration. It is stage of subcompensation of dehydratory shock. Next, uh, fourth stage of uh, dehydration, patient lose more than 10 uh, percent, 10 uh, percent of mass of the patient. It is uh, dehydratory shock of terminal stage of dehydratory shock, stage of subcompensation, of decompensation of dehydratory shock. It is terminal conditions of the patients with indication mask of Hippocrat. Pose of boxer, pose of gladiator, massive tonic cramps, uh, and uh, uh, so anuria, dyspnea, diffusion cyanosis. Gematocrit is more than 0.55. Blood viscosity is more than uh, 1035. Gematocrit is more than 0 0.55. So it is terminal conditions of the hydratory shock. You see pose of boxer, you see, it is dehydratory shock. Uh, Tony cramps, Tony cramps. Pose of boxer, pose of gladiator. Yes, uh, and uh, it is characterized by uh, dehydratory shock in the patient. Uh, and uh, so, uh,
next form next form uh, it is general forms of infection uh, it is uh, typhoid like forms and septic forms Oh, you see on this picture characteristic of gastroenteric forms. Yes, it is local forms of infection. For example, we spoke about mild forms characterized by the temperature, no more than 38 degrees. Syndrome of gastroenteritis, no more than five times per day. Moderate forms, the temperature is more than 38 degrees. Syndrome of gastroenteritis, no more than 10 times per day. And the syndrome of dehydration, uh, first and third stage of dehydration, Thursday and tonic cramps. And severe forms of dehydration, for example, the temperature is more than 40 degrees, marked intoxication. Syndrome of gastroenteritis is more than 10 times per day. And syndrome of dehydration, it is third and fourth stage of dehydration. So massive tonic cramps, decreasing of blood pressure, decreasing of diuresis, renal insufficiency, respiratory insufficiency, diffusion sinuses. So it is characteristic of gastroenteric forms of salmonellosis. It is local forms of salmonellosis, yes, local forms, but we know that there is general forms of salmonellosis because uh, it is uh, patients with immunocompromise, the patients with immunodeficiency conditions, elderly patients, uh, and uh, so uh, the patients uh, which uh, characterized by formation generalization of salmonellosis, uh, prolonged bacteremia and formation of polyorgans insufficiency and formation of metastatic focus of infection. Uh, so, and uh, let's uh, continue now. We We'll speak about general forms. General forms, it is typhoid-like forms and septic forms. Typhoid-like forms and septic forms. Uh, so, typhoid-like forms characterized by prolonged fever. But manifestation of typhoid-like forms characterized by syndrome of gastroenteritis, increasing of temperature. But then it's characterized by prolonged fever constant fever, remittance fever. So, and formation of, uh, formation of infection granulums in different organs. Uh, formation of clinic of typhoid fever. So, the indication, roseolus rash on the skin. Roseolus rash on the skin. Uh, then, formation of gepatomegaly and splenomegaly. Syndrome of mesodenitis, mesodenitis, hyperplasia of mesenteric lymph lymphatic nodes. Uh, and uh, formation of syndrome of padalka, blunting of percussion sound in Illegal region. 
It is syndrome of Padalka, syndrome of mesodenitis. Yeah, sometimes bradycardia, status tifosus, somnolence, sometimes toxic shock in severe forms of infection. Next, septic forms. Septic forms characterized by uh, general uh, forms, generalization of infection too. Uh, in immunodeficiency patients, prolonged bacteremia, uh, formation of polyorgans insufficiency, and metastatic focus of infection. Manifestation of septic forms characterized by gastroenteritis, increasing of the temperature. Then prolonged fever, Fibrous remittance, gectic fever, formation of cardiovascular insufficiency, renal insufficiency, dyspnea, decreasing of diuresis, splenomegaly, gepatomegaly, and formation, formation, gemeragical rash on the skin. Formation of gemeragical rash on the skin. It is symptoms of vasculitis. Symptoms of vasculitis, gemeragical vasculitis. Septic vasculitis because exotoxins cause a destruction of blood vessels, endothelial of blood vessels, and formation of microthrombosis and disorders of microcirculation and gemeragical exantems. So it is clinic of sepsis, clinic of sepsis, and then it causes the formation of metastatic focus of infection in the liver, lung, brain, joints. For example, if uh, metastatic focus localized in the liver, it causes the formation of abscess of the liver. Uh, pain in uh, sub, uh, right subcostal region uh, and uh, also uh, mechanical jaundice may be in those patients. Uh, when uh, metastatic focus localized in the lung, it causes the formation abscess of the lung, dyspnea, destruction pneumonia. And when uh, metastatic focus localized in the brain, it causes the formation of abscess of the brain, syndrome of encephalitis, meningoencephalitis, clonic cramps and uh, focus syndrome, paresis and paralysis. So such clinic of general forms of salmonellosis such clinic of general forms of salmonellosis, uh, it is severe forms of infection and it works rise by immunodeficiency conditions in the patient. Next forms are symptomatic forms. Asymptomatic forms it works rise, rise by subclinical and inapparent forms. Subclinical and inapparent forms. What does it mean? Uh, subclinical forms characterized by asymptomatic forms. There are no symptoms, clinics, uh, but uh, in the, uh, those patients, we indication uh, copra culture. We indication copra culture and serological test. In inapparent forms, so we uh, indication, uh, asymptomatic forms too. There is no symptoms uh, of infection, but uh, in the patient, we indication, copra culture. But there is no serological test. But there is no serological test in those patients. Serological reaction is uh, uh, negative. There is no antibodies in blood in those patients. So 
So we characterize uh, some clinical variant of infection. Yes, we spoke about local forms of infection, general forms of infection. But about complication of the patients. Now, we spoke about uh, clinic of uh, complication. Yes, toxic shock, dehydratory shock. When we speak about toxic shock, if dominate syndrome of intoxication, decreasing of blood pressure, decreasing of diuresis, dyspnea, polyorgans insufficiency. So the indication three phase of toxic shock, phase of compensation, phase of decompensation, and phase uh, uh, phase of subcompensation and phase of decompensation. Next, dehydratory shock characterized by three stage of um, shock, stage of compensation, subcompensation, and decompensation, and stage of dehydratation characterized by four stage. Yes, four stage, uh, each characterized by different variants of infection. And in dehydratory shock, uh, dominate syndrome of dehydratation. And we must remember syndrome of dehydratation. So, decreasing turgor of skin, tonic cramps, uh, pose boxer, pose of gladiator. Uh, in uh, uh, prolonged forms, uh, for example, uh, sometimes formation of myocarditis, uh, for example, uh, formation of uh, tagitogens in prolonged forms of infection. Sometimes uh, in clinic of severe forms of infection, the indication uh, such complication, for example, edema of brain, edema of lung, for example, uh, increasing of permeability of blood vessels and formation of um, urological syndrome, paralysis, paralysis uh, encephalopathy, loss of consciousness. Uh, edema of lung characterized by dyspnea, acrid cyanosis, diffusion cyanosis, uh, moist rails, Form is sputum. Sometimes we indication some complication, for example, um, uh, pulmonary embolism, thrombosis of mesenteric blood vessels. So um, those complications sometimes we indication in the syndrome of dehydration because increasing of blood viscosity. Formation of microthrombosis, uh, disorders of microcirculation, and uh, thromboembolic complication. Sometimes formation of necrosis of intestinal, for example, in cases of thromboembolic syndrome of mesenteric vessels, uh, with decreasing of in, uh, indication ischemia uh, and necrosis of uh, small intestinal. Clinic of uh, peritonitis, abdominal syndrome. So you see Rosellus ration the patients with typhoid form of salmonellosis. It is general forms, and you see on uh, the skin. Uh, some roseolas, roseolas, uh, roseola elevata, it is characteristic of rash in uh, typhoid-like uh, forms of general forms of salmonellosis. So it is clinic uh, is like as typhoid fever. Gemorrhagical rash on the skin, you see uh, gemorrhagical vasculitis, 
because endotoxins cause destruction of an arterial of blood capillaries and formation of thrombosis, destruction of blood vessels, formation of septic vasculitis, septic vasculitis, uh, hemorrhagical vasculitis. It characterizes formation of the sepsis in the patient with general forms of salmonellosis. Uh, the patients with gectic fever, uh, it is uh, formation, characterized by formation of metastatic focus of infection, respiratory insufficiency, uh, cardiovascular insufficiency, uh, decreasing of diuresis, uh, disseminated hemorrhagical syndrome. Let's speak about diagnostic of salmonellosis, but first of all, we will speak about clinical diagnostic. What findings very important for diagnostic of salmonellosis? Anamnesis, yes, alimentary anamnesis, food anamnesis. So we spoke about um, products uh, which cause the formation of uh, those infections. Milk, meat, eggs, uh, sausage, salad. Uh, so, such products. Uh, then, uh, uh, laboratory clinic, yes, of salmonellosis characterized by increasing of the temperature, increasing of intoxication, gastrointestinal syndrome, nausea, vomiting, uh, diarrhea, watery diarrhea, green, yellow stool. And uh, laboratory diagnostic, we must confirm infection, we must confirm diagnosis of salmonellosis by laboratory methods of diagnostic. Um, the scheme of diagnostic of salmonellosis. Copra culture, when the indication, uh, culture, uh, bacteriological culture um, uh, in the feces, uh, and uh, so... Uh, the indication bacteria uh, of uh, which cause those infection. The indication kinds of salmonella. Then uh, uh, urine culture, urine culture too, because formation of uh, bacteremia and formation of urine culture in those patients. Then serological test, reaction of non-direct chemagglutination and reaction of passive agglutination. And diagnostic title is uh, 200s, 200s. But we must remember that formation of diagnostic title in the end of the first week of infection. Increasing of antibodies and formation of diagnostic title. Because we repeat uh, serological test on the next week. Yes, and indication increasing of the title of four or more times. Sometimes we, we use express methods of diagnostic, polymerase reactions, uh, when the indication um, DNA of bacteria in coprofiltrate. Elias methods when the indication antibodies in blood and methods of immunofluorescension. Methods of immunofluorescension. Let's speak about. Uh, the treatments of salmonellosis. At first, uh, we uh, will speak about treatments of local forms, gastrointestinal forms. Uh, we will speak about the treatments of gastroenteric variant of salmonellosis. Uh, at first, we will speak about treatments of light forms, mild forms, uh, and uh, it characterized by a very simple treatment, gastric lavage, Diets, diets, exclusion spicy 
fatty products, and oral rehydration, one liter per day. Oral rehydration, for example, regidron, citroglucosalan, one liter per day. Sometimes we administer enterosorbents, enterosorbents, uh, for example, smecta, polyfipan, enterosgel, some days. And intestinal antiseptic during three days, from three up to five days. Intestinal antiseptic. Furzlidon, entrofuril, rifoximin. Uh, moderate forms of infection uh, we administer. Uh, Fluorokinolones, Cifran, Ciprofloxacin, uh, 500 mg to time per day, du during 7 days, during 7 days. Pathogenic methods of treatments, rehydration, rehydration, intravenously, acesol, chlasol, quartasol, so it is crystalloid solutions for rehydration. Uh, one liter per day, sometimes two liter per day. And basic therapy diets, gastric lavage, regidron, enterodes, enterosorbents in moderate forms. Next, severe forms of salmonellosis. The same methods, basic therapy, basic therapy, diets, fluorokinolones. Sometimes we combine fluorokinolones and cephalosporins during 10 days. Regidratation, primary regidratation, then correction regidratation. Primary uh, regidratation in cases of degenerative shock. So massive regidratation, for example, in third stage of degenerative volume of infusion therapy nearby five liter per day. Five liter. It is initial. Regidratation for, car, for stabilization of hemodynamic and diuresis. Then correction uh, regidratation when we continue infusion therapy. Uh, some days. Then detoxication. Sometimes we administer glucose solutions. For example, Remaxol, Riambirin. But only after, only after regidratation. At first, crystalloids, then glucose, colloid solutions, remaxol and reambirin. At the severe forms, volume of infusion therapy may be at the severe dehydration nearby 5 liter per day. If it is toxic shock, volume of infusion therapy is Two liter per day, two or three liter per day. Crystalloid solutions, colloid solutions, steroids, glycosides. But at first, regidratation is for correction of hemodynamic and diuresis.
Treatments of general forms of infection, for example, typhoid forms. Uh, the treatments is uh, like as uh, typhoid fever, quinolones, sometimes combine uh, quinolones and cephalosporins, chlorokinolones and cephalosporins up to 10th day of normal temperature, up to 10th day of normal temperature. Infusion therapy and detoxication. Then septic forms, septic forms we administer cephalosporins, fluorokinolones, combined antibiotic treatments, detoxication, pathogenic methods of treatments, immunoglobulins intravenously, detoxication. In typhoid forms, uh, antibiotic treatment lasts up to 10th day of normal temperature. In septic forms, antibi antibiotic treatment lasts up to uh, normalization of clinical laboratory test. Uh, it, it can uh, last uh, maybe sometimes during 2, 3, 4 weeks. Prolonged antibiotic treatments and correction of dysbiosis in those patients. Salmonellosis with differentiation with uh, elementary uh, poisonings the poisons of foods. Uh, and uh, we must remember that infection agents in alimentary poisonings may be Staphylococ, Streptococ, Escherichia coli, Protei, Klebsiella, So such uh, infection agents, proliferation in um, alimentary products and synthesis of exotoxins. Synthesis of exotoxins and activation of mechanism of secretory diarrhea. Secretion of mucus of uh, intestinal uh, mucus and uh, secretion of water and salt to stomach and small intestinal. Formation of syndrome of gastroenteritis, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. At the severe forms, formation of dehydratory shock. Main clinical symptoms. Sometimes syndrome of intoxication. Gastrointestinal syndrome and dehydration. At the severe forms, it causes the formation of dehydratory shock. So, uh, staphylococcal uh, alimentary poisoning. Uh, so, factors of transmission is cream, cream, cakes, cream of cakes. For example, in staphylococcal uh, infection, po alimentary poisoning formation of very short period of incubation. Sometimes it lasts uh, 20 or 30 minutes period of incubation. Then increasing uh, over it, of the temperature and uh, syndrome of gastritis, nausea and vomiting, syndrome of gastritis. Then sometimes formation syndrome of enteritis, maybe gastritic and gastroenteritic forms. Uh, the same methods of diagnostic of alimentary poisoning, for example, copra culture, uh, 
uh, serological test with outer stamp. And the same methods of treatments. Gastric lavage, regidron, enterodes, enterosorbents, and moderate and severe forms, uh, infusion therapy, crystalloid solutions, regidratation. Salmonellosis we differentiate with the other infection, for example, viral diarrhea, for example, rotavirus infection, norovirus infection, enterovirus infection. Yes, and uh, we listened about rotaviral infection, for example, RNA virus, respiratory mechanism of transmission, uh, cause the formation of gastroenteritis, uh, disorders of um, mucus of gastrointestinal syndrome catural syndrome uh, and uh, in the clinic we indication increasing of the temperature but there is no high fever but maybe catural syndrome rhinitis pharyngitis gyprimia of fossas hyperplasia of mucus folli of follicles of fossas and syndrome of gastroenteritis nausea vomiting and watery diarrhea watery diarrhea. It is activation of secretion and formation of osmotic diarrhea. Nor noroviral infection is characterized by increasing of the temperature, catural syndrome, and syndrome of gastroenteritis. And factors of transmissions of norovirus may, may be uh, fish product, fish product. Enteroviral infection, infection agent is Coxsackie virus, ECHO virus. Oral and respiratory mechanism of transmission causes the increasing of the temperature. Syndrome of tonsillitis, GERP angina, GERP angina, GERPetic eruption on soft palate and tonsils. Conjunctivitis. And syndrome of gastroenteritis, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, rash on the skin, and serosal meningitis because those virus penetrate to gametencephalic barrier and formation of serosal meningitis. What diagnostic of viral diarrhea? It is polymerase reactions. Uh, of coprofiltrate with indication DNA and RNA of the virus. And ELISA methods when the indication antibodies in blood by ELISA methods. And treatments of uh, viral diarrhea is uh, um, basic therapy, diets, uh, um, um, Regidron, enterosorbents, probiotics, enzymes, regidratation, regidratation. Regidratation, crystalloid solutions. Sometimes in child patient recommend kipferon, genferon, Antiviral treatment. Uh, Salmonellosis with different with uh, non infection gastroenteritis. So sometimes we speak about functional gastroenteritis. Uh, um, for example, after diet disorders. Uh, yes. Secondary gastroenteritis. For example, after diet disorders in the patient. Um, chronic myocarditis, cholecystitis, yes, cause the formation of functional gastroenteritis and secondary gastroenteritis. Alcohol gastroenteritis. Uremic gastroenteritis. For example, gastroenteritis in cases of renal insufficiency, in liver insufficiency. 
So it is metabolic disorders which cause the formation of viral gastroenteritis. Mushroom poisonings. Yes, mushroom poisonings. It's characterized by uh, massive uh, uh, diarrhea, gastroenteritis, massive uh, dehydration, and formation of liver and renal insufficiency, jaundice, cetolis, increasing of um, urea and creatinine in blood. So those, those patients with mushroom poisonings transport to hemodialysis, only hemodialysis. Now, my colleagues, we spoke today about salmonellosis. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.